the squawking hawk is i believe the introduction to henry hawk who is a character i really like i will say this is a pretty decent cartoon but i'm glad that they paired henry hawk with foghorn leghorn as that just works so much better this was released in 1942 directed by chuck johns and written by michael maltese with voices provided by sarah burner ted pierce and ken rogers as henry hawk and this mother uh, is telling henry hawk that um he has to eat his worm eat his dinner but he wants a chicken so he goes off to find a chicken and it seems like he might be able to run away with this chicken but the chicken's husband or male partner is there and obviously does everything he can to try and save his wife from being taken away by the chicken hog and it's interesting enough i found it interesting because i I don't know if I've seen a Henry Hawk without Foghorn Leghorn. So because it was different, I found it quite fascinating. But had this been the first one I'd seen, I would say that some of the action in it was a little bit boring. In fact, I can kind of pinpoint the bit where it went a bit downhill. Not, not dramatically, but it stopped being quite as interesting from the point, roughly, where the male looked underneath the 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 hen's body and said what's happened to your legs or where have your legs gone or something like that and from that point because he's discovered henry hawk he just i don't know i feel like the action wasn't that fascinating from that point onwards but i loved the ending and i won't say how it ends but i just thought it was really really fun and entertaining so yeah a bit of a roller coaster up and down here and there but well animated a nice introduction to henry hawk but I'm glad they brought him in with Foghorn Leghorn because I think that just works so much better. But really, there's nothing specifically wrong with the Squawking Hawk. It did work well. Not a bad introduction to the character. Well animated, decent pacing, some of the action not that interesting. But not so bad that I would say I didn't enjoy it because I'd say it was actually not too bad. The Squawking Hawk, I wouldn't mind watching it again. I'd probably never seek it out. But because I like Henry Hawk, it was pretty good. If you're a fan of Henry Hawk, I think it's one you'll enjoy too.